All right, and here is the video overview for Warrior Class Bisque, and here is his car mode. Um, he does come with two pistols that can plug in here to the front of the car mode. Uh, if you want to, I'm not a big fan of how that looks, but you, I mean, that's really the only place to store them in vehicle mode. You can see the underside is quite packed, but uh, but yeah, there they go right there. Um, some people have had an issue with, and you can kind of see this one, I, I knocked it loose, with these coming out when they plug these pieces in, and uh, mine holds together pretty well, but uh, I'm not sure what the fix is for that. I don't know if it's just you need to tighten this peg or what, but yeah, he's a little sports car, looks cool, rolls pretty well. Got the headlights here on the front. Yeah, sleek little futuristic sports car looking dude. I was super stoked to find him because he looks great and I love the character and he's got a cool head. We'll sell that show it off in a minute. But anyway, to transform him, pop this down and around like that. It's gonna form, you can see that it's gonna form his claws. There's kind of a flight mode for him, but anyway. So you got the claws there, pop them out to the side. Go ahead, open, pull this piece up. This piece is tabbed into the back here, right here. So you lift that up, and that lets you flip his legs here out and about, and you can see his head kind of peeking at you under there. So bring that, bring the feet down, like that. And he stands up fairly well. And then you come up here, and you split. There you go. You want to unpeg these first, because these also peg in right here and then you can split this apart bring these down to the side rotate these out on that ball joint to form his shoulder pads open up the chest and there's his head which flips out and it flips out this far and you want to push it till it clicks to the other side of that so it's kind of flat along this plane right here then you fold that back up and then these little tabs go into these slots here as you bring the arms down And then the claws rotate around like this. They tab in, there's a little, they'll kind of clip into place when you get them right here. And then there's an elbow joint for his claws. And there is Bisque as a lobster bot. And then you fold this back down. And this is one of the, I don't know, and his antenna are on a separate piece, so you can flip his antenna back like that. His head's soft plastic, so you don't have to worry too much about breaking these pieces. And even if they bend, the thing is, like, he's got such a weird, flappy, expressive face that even if like, these things bend a little bit, it's not really show inaccurate, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I think he, for all the criticism that the Robots in Disguise toy line gets, I think this really shows what the designers can do when they're faced with a budget crunch or they have to work with a a smaller budget or small, fewer parts because this guy's really well designed. It's very evocative of the character. It's not a 100% perfect recreation, but it's pretty close. Um, I love his head. He's got a really cool expressive head. The shoulder pads are, are posable and can get out of the way. Um, I love the fact that like he's got the dedicated elbow for robot mode to have his claws this way, but if you rotate them around like this, the transformation hinge also allows his hands to without changing anything else in the transformation, um, allows his hands to uh, fold this way as well. So if you want to have him kind of citizen snipping his way around, you can do that without having to modify anything. Really smart design there. Uh, the transformation, I think, is, is fun. It's intuitive. Uh, there's all sorts of things in it. Like even inside here, there's some kind of techno lobster plating molded inside this canopy piece on his back. Even here on the spine, he's got a little tiny lobster tail detail back here. Uh, a lot of stuff like, you know, this stuff in here, you're really not gonna notice, but they put it in anyway. Um, like just, just a lot of love, you can tell, went into this figure and, and it definitely shows. I, I'm, I really like, I'm really digging him. I think maybe the star of the uh, Robots in Disguise line for me to date. Um, Starscream's really good. I hear good things about Quillfire. I may have to pick one up at some point. Uh, but this guy is just outstanding. So anyway, his head doesn't turn side to side, really. It does rotate on this piece right here, but it's not really... It's on a little bit of a ball joint. It can kind of look up and down. It doesn't really turn side to side 
aside from the actual rotational part of it. So a little limited on the head, but it works what it works for him. Uh, he's got a hinge swivel here and then a front to back swivel. He does have a bicep swivel. He's got, of course, that dedicated elbow hinge and then the secondary one from Transformation, if you want to use that. His claws open and close. No waist swivel because of how that transforms. Unfortunate uh, ball joint, thigh swivel, hinge knees, and then a front to back hinged foot. And I think, like I said, I think he looks a little better he looks cool standing straight up, but he looks a little better if you kind of hunch him over a little bit. Um, his pistols can store right here on the top of his... Which is exactly where they plugged in in car mode. They just plug in right here, so it's, he's holding some weapons if you want to have him facilitate a heist. You can kind of, if you want. It's it's really mostly just by resting it. You can, If you want him to hold it in his claws, you can... You have to really just kind of rest it in there and just get it because the wheel likes to spin. Uh, it's not working now. I, I had him holding them the other day, but it really, but I mean, like, it's not really holding them. It's just kind of sitting them in there in such a way that they don't fall out unless you bump it. So, yeah, somebody found a way. Like, I think they stuck the guns here into his chest. Like, they don't plug, plug in, plug in, but somebody, I think, stuck them in here like that and then closed it up. So, you can wedge them into his body if you want. But uh, there's, unlike Ratchet, there's no dedicated storage anywhere for his weapons in robot mode or certainly in vehicle mode, aside from just plugging them in to the front of the car. And just as a real quick size comparison uh, with his fellow wave mate, here he is with Ratchet. But yeah, easily, I think, my favorite figure from the line so far. He's a lot of fun. He's got a lot of personality. He's got a neat car mode. He's got a fun lobster robot mode. The transformation is fun enough to be engaging without being really difficult at all. Um, and it does allow for that alternate hand pose. So, like I said, if you're looking to check out the Robots in Disguise line, definitely one to pick up and, and look at because he really is the star of the line, I think. But there he is, Warrior Class Bisque.